and I'm from softchip.com. In this session, we will discuss an important concept of Dynamics 365. Product setup is one of the most important concept in Dynamics 365. In this session, I will discuss how to configure product bundles and product family configuration, write-in products and product property setup and tax factor. These are all the concept that is properly configured in Dynamics 365 so that salesperson can use this features while selling a product through opportunity lifecycle. If you check this slide, you will find the concept of family and the concept of bundle and the products. You can check this first grid where there is a family called as laptops. So in a laptop family, there are many vendors that can be included their laptops in this family. Let's say Lenovo, HP and Microsoft laptops. There are many vendors also available, but for the demo purpose, I have just given three laptop vendors and I have create, I will create a family in my Dynamics 365 system as laptops. Every family should have a product properties. Here you will find family product properties. If there is a laptop, then what should be the color of the laptop? What should be the size of the laptop? What should be the memory? What should be the extended you know, RAM? And what should, what should be the um, extended hard disk uh, you know, uh, size? So then if you configure a family of a product, then you should also configure the product properties. Although it is not mandatory, but you can configure product properties for that family. Now, what is a bundle? We can include some more products in addition to the product of one of the family so that I can bundle these three products into one, one pack. Let's say Lenovo is a computer laptop and I can include the and I can include an external hard disk and a laptop bag and I will pack these three items into one bundle so that the sales person can use this bundle for a selling purpose. So this is how family product family and product bundle is configured and the product properties is configured. Now let's go to the Dynamics 365 and we will configure these three items in the system and we will also check how these three concepts are taken part in transactional records like opportunity, quote and order. <clears throat> so first you have to go to settings and the most favorite place business product catalog where all the product catalog settings happens. Now, in my last and previous sessions, I have already discussed regarding unit groups and price lists and discount lists and how to set up product. So, every organization thinks mm, practically how to configure properly this product in the system with currency setup. Now, Let's go to the family sent product. Now we will configure a family of laptop. Okay. So here in this product and family view, you will find a command bar button to add bundles, to add products and to add family. Here you can see. If you click add family here, then it will prompt you to define the family details so it will prompt you to provide a family information product family information now you have to give the product family name let's give a name high-end laptops and let's say the product id hel001 give a product ID that, that would be unique and just save it. 
so this this product id product family name and id is the minimal information that you supply while creating a product family now in the view just filter this and select the product family here so that i can open the family product family that i have just created now this is the high-end laptop uh, you know uh, family that i have just created just open it once you open it there are many you know options available to configure in this family product family i want to add some product properties let's say I can go down and I can add here so this is a section of product properties also you can go from here product properties and here you will see there is a add property record here you can click to add properties properties are nothing but the characteristics and the features of a specific product family let's say i just want to add a color property color property for this product then i should create the property right now in the form like this here i have to write the property name first then we have to select the data type of the property Call is color. It's taking some time. So we can give the name as color if it is read only or you can also set the read only of this property and you can also select if it is required or it is optional and for this you have to select this is required if you want to you know capture the color information of this product mandatorily then make it as required and the data type select the data type is the color can be selected as one of the color option set then you can select the data type as option set and save it once you save this color property then you can also add what type of colors are available in in the you know uh, business for that specific product you can also assign a default value for this color okay but before that we have to define some of the color and the option set
so if you go down you will find a section called as property option set item here you can add the colors you want to add now these options will be available as a color property of this product family likewise you can also create some more properties like we have just created like color like you, you, you can also create properties like extended ram ram size and you know uh, if you go to the available or not all these options uh, we can add in the product list now this is uh, how you can define a family of product and you can define the product properties in the system okay now how this family is used in a product let's say let's close this now before that you have to publish this family every product family and product or bundle product must be published to available for uh, transactional record participation otherwise you cannot use this family now as i have created a family now i just want to create a you know uh, product and i want to uh, assign this uh, existing family to that new product now select create a product add a product i have just created a family just keep in mind now give a name call is Lenovo 510 and product id the uh, I want zero and give a unit group let's say it is computers and unit default unit is computer then decimal support rate 2 and in the parent you will find a parent option to select the family you want to include for me the family is high-end laptops you can select this and save the product that means in the system we have just created a product called as little number 510 which is a part of the family high-end laptops here you will find all the options on the property properties that is available here so these are all the colors that are available for the laptop now when you use this product in any transactional record then the system will prompt you to choose a color as a property now we have defined the family we have defined the product associated with that family and now we have to publish this but before that we have to select the price list at least let's say select a retail price list and there is no price list configured for this product anyhow just uh, just um, you know uh, for the time being um, we have two we have one product we have defined and we have defined one family and let's say we will create one bundle to create a bundle bundle is nothing but you know a, a package of different types of products and let's say create add bundle and give a name Lenovo pack and let's say LP110 every bundle must be associated with a unit group Let's say these computers and select the default in unit in it as computers and this one supported to point zero. Now save it. Once you save this bundle product, uh, it will ask you to provide the products to add in the bundle. So this is the section where you can add products to this bundle. Select this sign 
and now you can add bundle products Now in this form you can select the products that you just wanna you know add into that bundle. You can select a product, let's say any product Let's, let's select an, anyone for the time being. Let's say uh, fiber printer and the quantity you have to define here one and required it is let's say it is required. If you select this required, then if a salesman sells this product bundle to a customer, this product has to be um, mandatorily sell to the customer. If you, if you if you select optional here then the customer may deny to take this product while, while purchasing this bundle so let's say it is required and unit the select the unit primary unit and seven crores so we have added one product to the Lenovo pack now this product line item is added here now also we can add some more product to this bundle now select another product let's say this one so it doesn't matter which product you want to include here it's demo purpose but in the real world you have to create the property uh, create the products uh, in some way so that you can bundle it uh, so the quantity let's say it is one And need let's say the primary unit and seven clothes. Once you seven clothes, you, you will find the two products are added in the bundle Lenovo pack. Now till now we have created one family, we have added the product in that family, and we have created a Lenovo pack. We have the, and we have added two products in this bundle and I just want to add the product that I have just created in this bundle Now select the product that I have just created. The name was Lenovo. So this is the laptop that I have just created in the system. Now the quantity is one and it is required and the quantity is the unit is primary select the unit 
is the primary unit of the computer cell close now you can see we have just added three products in this bundle now here you will find the property that is telling us to customize for this Lenovo product as this Lenovo 510 is a part of the family uh, laptop family so you can also customize the properties for this uh, you know uh, for this uh, bundle product uh, you can give a name as a give a color name as blue or you can make it done okay you already customized the product and also you can add it in the two stage just make it done now I have just created a family, a bundle and a product and we have just added the product in the bundle and we have inherited the family properties from the laptop. Now we can go to, now we have to publish this bundle before we use it in the system. Now we can go to a opportunity and we will try to create a opportunity to have this bundle in my product line item let's see create new opportunity now here i will create a new opportunity by clicking add new opportunity button in the command bar so once i will click new opportunity it will prompt us to provide an opportunity name so give a topic of opportunity Lenovo for student now save this opportunity once you save this opportunity the option it's a, an area will be available so that you can add the product line items go to product line items here we will find a plus sign and before that select the price list you just want to use and select retail and revenue should be system calculated and now you can add the product line items here you can add existing products when you select additional products you can search your bundle here as well we know more. look up for more records So before that we have to add the product into price list so close this opportunity for the time being we have missed to add price list into the product go to the product again Go to family and product and source the product starting from Lenovo. So this is the you know uh, bundle and this is the product. Just open this product. So this is the bundle product Lenovo Pack. Here we can associate a price list. So 
So before uh, giving the price list name, we have to go to the product and associate the price list here. Add price list item. So in this price list item, we can associate the product with a existing price list. So let's say the price list is retail. Select the retail price list. And in, once you select this, you can want to sell it. It will only be applicable for the bundle product including all the products in the bundle so if you define here 200 dollar then the bundle will cost for 200 dollar respective of the cost of the product so seven goes as you have defined the price list for this bundle product now the price will be you know uh, we, we can use this price list in the opportunity that we have just created taking time so patience so now we have associated uh, that price list for this bundle now we'll go to we'll close this now uh, we'll close this uh, you know bundle product and we will go to the opportunity for and we'll try to add the product line item in that opportunity now select click this recently viewed um, option records so that it will show us what are the records we have recently used 